Hey y'all, what it do? It's your boo, Maggie, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. I post videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, all about self-improvement and how to look good while doing it. Period, okay? Don't forget to subscribe down below. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I do my half cut creases for hooded eyes especially. This is also gonna be a mini tutorial of a look I've been trying to do for like, I don't even know, months now. It's a single cover inspired look. I'll put it up here for you guys. Miss Arby Lennox, chocolate pomegranate. If you haven't seen my ASAP Ferg, album inspired look okay i'll link it up here for you guys and also down below okay but yeah it's gonna be a half cut crease i'm gonna break down exactly how i do it for my beginners out there and for my hooded eye people okay it's a struggle <laughs> having hooded eyes is a struggle especially when you're trying to do cut creases all right also feel free to slow down this video if you want to as well because i'm pretty sure yeah i'm pretty sure you can do that now okay you can slow it down like real real slow you can speed it up you can watch it normally like so whatever works for you okay just want to make sure i help you guys I'm trying to be as helpful as possible so yeah go ahead and skip to the half cut crease if you want also slow down the video if you want to see like you know more detail more in depth to really like get it you know also know that this took me a long time to learn and to master and to like get comfortable with it you really 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 have to practice you really really have to just keep on doing it learn from each mistake you make and then eventually boom you'll get there okay guys patience also have patience with yourself and practice 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 okay practice your craft practice all right, let's go. So I went ahead and did my brows and base off camera because I already have videos on that. Okay, where have you been? Okay, I'll leave them linked for you up here and also down in the description. But yes, base and brows are already done. I already did this look yesterday so i already know what colors I'm, I'm gonna dig into which is great okay so so now that you have your base ready to go i'm gonna start with my first shade all right the first shade i'm gonna start with is this dark this dark chocolate here please excuse my palette okay i don't have cute palettes because i'm always doing my makeup or it's always falling or something <laughs> I'm gonna use this dark chocolate. Oh, I'm gonna use this. Hello, I'm gonna use this dark chocolate right here. Let me just make sure there are no creases. The first thing I do is I look at my eye, I assess my eye, I see where my crease is, and I see exactly where I wanna put the first color, okay? Because since we're doing a cut crease, we wanna make sure that when we cut the crease, the colors we put on don't disappear. So since my crease is here, I'm gonna put this first dark chocolate color where my crease is. Now I'm not, I don't put it exactly on my crease because again, I have hooded eyes. So if I were to open my eyes and put it right where my crease is, I'll open my eyes, the color would be gone. You wouldn't see the color. Let me show you guys what I mean. Put it right exactly where my crease is. This is messy right now because I'm just trying to show you real quick. If I were to put exactly where my crease is and I open my eyes, where'd it go? You can't see the color. And especially when we do the cut crease, you're definitely not going to see the color. I always go a little higher than where my actual crease is. So I look in the mirror straight ahead. I see my crease. And I go a little above the crease, and that's where I put my first color. And I'm just doing this like half circle shade. 
from my inner eye all the way to the outer part of my eye. You don't have to worry about the lid because that's that's gonna go away soon, okay? But you know, just packing that on, making sure that color is intense. And I always stop to make sure the shape looks good again for my eye shape. I always make sure it looks good. Okay, it looks good. And when there's not that much product left on the brush, I'll go to the edges and just blend that out a little bit. Not too far, because I'm gonna add more colors. All right, so that is what we're looking like right now. Next, I'm gonna go into my ColourPop Main Squeeze Palette. Okay, don't even look at the condition. Just look at the colors that are available. <laughs> I'm gonna take this dark red color and I'm gonna put that right over that dark chocolate. So I'm gonna put it right where the edge is. And we're gonna follow the same half circle, <laughs> half circle shape. It's okay if some red gets on that dark brown because we're gonna go back and add that same color again. It's all about building up the color. All right, same thing, we're gonna blend out the edge. And again, I'm looking to see if it's looking good. All right. Next, I'm gonna dive into my Juvia's Place Athlete palette. We're gonna go in, oh, I always keep going the wrong way. We're gonna use this red right here. And same thing, we're gonna put it on top of the color we just put on. Well, not on top, over on the edge. And we're gonna blend the edge. Now I'm gonna go in with my Juvia's Place Festival palette and we're going to use this, not that one. <laughs> we're gonna use this red right here. We're just gonna put that right on the edge on right under the brow. All right. So right now it's looking a little muddy. It's looking a little like it's it's not done yet. It's not blended. It's not looking crisp. It's not looking smooth, okay? So what I like to do after this is I go right back in with those same exact colors a, a good like two times. I go back in with those same colors like two more times to really build up the colors, build up the shades, right? So where's the brush? We're going back in with that dark chocolate because we did lose some of those colors. So I always, always, always go back in with each color to make sure that you can see them. I'm going in with that red. I'm gonna blend out those edges. All right, and then our next color. And then that underbrow color. All right, 
so that's looking good but it could be better okay so I'm gonna actually go in with my big fluffy blending brush just to blend out the front here the edges and also just everything So looking at this, I definitely want to deepen that crease some more so there's a really nice contrast between the cut crease, the lid color, and then like the crease color. So let's see. I'm going to go back into my broken palette. Morphe 3502 palette. We're going to use this dark, dark, dark chocolate right over here. Have this dense brush to really get in that crease area and I'm gonna put it right under that first dark chocolate color this color I'm gonna put right in my crease because we're gonna blend it up so we don't need to put it a little above the crease for my hood and eye people I'm gonna blend out the edge just a little bit just a little bit See that y'all see that crease how it's getting darker that's what i want looking dark chocolatey gonna go back in with um that first chocolate color we use to blend out this dark 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 chocolate Mm-hmm. And then again, going back in with those same colors. Really building up that shade. Building up all the shades. Making sure everything is nice and blended. Red color. And then that underbrow red color. Then I'm gonna blend everything out. Make sure it's nice and seamless. I'm gonna go in with every single shade one more time. I always do this, guys. I always do this. And I recommend this, too. Yes, it can be a lot, but it's worth it. That end result is worth it when you really take your time to blend everything and build up the shade. Comes out looking bomb. Oh, my. So you don't want those colors to pop. You want to pop. So that is done. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. I'm really liking the blends. Now we can go ahead and cut that crease. Okay. For the cut crease, you really want to have a flat brush. Okay, a flat brush with a rounded tip. Now I'll show you guys a few options, but it's really important that it's a flat one and preferably one with a rounded tip because that will really help you get that nice curve that nice curved shape that you want for that cut crease. To cut the crease, you can use foundation, you can use concealer, you can use um, eyeshadow bases or eyeshadow primers. I like to use a Peebles base, okay? And since I plan on layering like shimmers and like brighter colors on top, like on my lid, I'm gonna use a lighter shade base. Using a lighter shade base when you're using like bright colors is really gonna make those colors stand out like really pop instead of using like a skin toned one so i'm going to use the p louise base in the shade rumor two what i do is i put some on my on the back of my hand right 
make sure I drench that brush, okay, on both sides. Make sure it's wet. All right, and then do you guys see how flat that is? Super, super skinny, super, super flat, okay? So what I like to do is, I look in the mirror, I put the brush on my lid, and I look up. So I do this because it helps me know exactly where to put that concealer. So if I look forward, I can see, okay, now I know exactly where to put that concealer. So my cut piece isn't hiding under the hoods, okay? And I actually like to go a little higher than where that mark is. So the mark is like right here. I'm gonna go a little higher right there. And I open my eyes to make sure that if I look forward and straight that you can actually see the cut crease. So let me see. I'm gonna put it a little higher. This left eye is different from my right eye, I realized. Okay, though. <laughs> okay, that's good. So now with that, with the help of this brush again, because the shape, now I'm gonna start creating that, creating that half circle we created with the eyeshadows. And I'm just gonna dab. I don't swipe. I just start with really tapping and following the shape of my eye to create that little half circle. Now I was stopped to make sure, because my eyes are like shaped weird, okay? So yeah, I have to go a little higher. <laughs> I have to go a little higher. All right, yep, that looks good. And I really, I really make sure that that brush is like drenched because it really helps you stamp that, that, the base. So I'm stamping, I'm stamping, I'm stamping, I'm checking. And sometimes I even like, instead of raising my brows, I'll like stay straight forward to see what it'll look like just a regular like point of view and then I'll continue to cut it just to make sure it's looking the way I want it to look and that looks good and I'm just gonna continue a little bit remember we're doing a half crease so I'm just gonna continue a little bit yeah that looks good So I'm gonna stop right there. Then I go in with a tiny, tiny, super, super thin liner brush to clean up that cut crease to make it nice and crisp, okay? With this brush, I'll do the swiping motions because it's really hard to do the dabbing with a liner brush. So I'll make sure my, my hands and my pinky is resting on my cheek. And I'll just outline exactly where I, where I just put that concealer. Making sure that the edge is nice and smooth. Y'all see that? I'm gonna stop here because if I keep if I keep messing with it, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna ruin it, okay? <laughs> Next, you wanna get yourself some cotton swabs, some Q-tips, whatever you call them. Get yourself some cotton swabs, Q-tips. And then I grab my micellar water. This is just a makeup remover. You can get this at CVS, Amazon, Walgreens. If you wanna get the store brand instead, you can go ahead and do that, okay? I'm gonna drench both sides of this cotton swab with the makeup remover. And we're just gonna remove all that excess eyeshadow and excess base. We don't need all of this, okay? Because we're gonna clean it up and put a fresh, clean base right on top. And 
And I normally focus on the edges until the very end when the lid is completely clean. Now I'm being really careful not to mess up that cup crease. Just cleaning up the extra concealer, not concealer, the base. <laughs> All right, so that looks good. I'm gonna take that same light base. Oh my God, I'm running out. Sheesh, I need to get some more. Take that same light base and my flat brush this time it's already there for you so you're literally just gonna go right over it the round brush really just makes the shape for you that's what i really recommend using a round flat brush. So I'm gonna look to see if there's anything I need to fix. I'm gonna take the rest of the base and put that on my lid. And then sometimes I like to use my finger just to make sure everything is smooth, there's no creases. Okay, so now we're gonna finish off this look, okay? So, this is the half cut crease. Now I'm gonna build that lid, those lid shades. I'm gonna go and take that dark, dark, dark brown color again, that same color we have right there already. I'm gonna put that right on the edge, right on the edge of that cut crease. Just like that. And I'm actually gonna take my finger again and blend that edge right there in between the base and the eyeshadow because this will help blend the second color i add onto the lid i'm gonna go back in with this red shade i used from the festival palette Making sure you're really careful when you get to that crease area. So you don't want to leave it like this, okay? Because it's not blended. I'm going to go back with the same brush I used with that dark color. I'm not going to put it back in the color. I'm going to use whatever left on the brush and blend out the edge. I'm doing a little tap, tap, tap motion. It's like a little tap and swipe almost. Just tapping, tapping a little swipe. And I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take the brush I used with the red and do the same thing. Tap, tap, tap on the edge. I'm gonna take some more chocolate brown and blend it into the red. So I'm blending towards my nose this time. Just going back and forth with the two brushes until I'm satisfied with the blend. So it's looking good, okay? We'll definitely go back to it after the next color. Next, I'm gonna take this beautiful shimmery red from the Afrique palette from Juvia's. Put 
moving it into the red a little bit. So you can get that seamless blend. Gotta put back some red because it's, it's hiding right now. The red is hiding, you gotta put some back. And for the inner corner, I'm gonna go in with this gold shade, also from the Afrique palette. Ooh, pretty. Oh wow, this cover is very minted. Right, blending that into the red, the shimmery red a little bit. I'm liking this. Okay. I'm going to go back in with the same colors. Guys, y'all, you should know by now. I'm going to go back in with the same colors. Like, you should know this already. Like, this is what I do. Just go back and forth. Build those colors. This edge right here is giving me, giving me some, some troubles. I've been trying to blend it out. All right, so that looks pretty good. <laughs> okay. I'm definitely going to do some more blending. Um, but overall, this is how I get it done, okay? This is how I do my half cut creases. I'm going to go ahead and finish the look off camera, the other eye, lashes. Um, full face off camera because I am going to be doing a reels video for Instagram. So go ahead and check that out. I'll leave the link somewhere around here and also down below in the description bar. So yeah, if you want to see the final look, the full reveal, then I'll be right back. All right, guys, this is the final look. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Definitely go ahead and check out the pictures and the little reels video I did for this look. I love this. The blend. Ooh. Let's talk about the blend, okay? <laughs> I'm very proud of myself. Wow. Please let me know, again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns. That's what I'm here for. Let me know down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it it helps me a lot and it helps more people find this channel find this video okay make sure to check out some more videos i have for you guys down here and thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next video